Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you 25 changes in Minecraft 1.10, and you guys really liked my last changes to 1.9 video, so I decided to do a quick video here explaining all of the main changes that came in Minecraft's newest update, and there are a lot, and I'm actually surprised 1.10 came out so fast, because it took forever for 1.9 to come out. If I do miss anything, which I might, because there is a lot of stuff in Minecraft 1.10, let me know down in the comments below. Also, tomorrow, I am announcing some Something here on the channel. Um, I'm basically making a new website. You guys can go visit the pre-launch site right now. Uh, there's one more day and that website will go public. You guys can go over there and like enter in your email or something and we're sending out like this secret email. It's kind of like a hint of what the website's about. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link down in the description for those of you who are interested. But yeah, anyway, let's get on with the video. Here are 25 of the biggest changes in Minecraft 1.10. The fishing rod can now pull items to the player. There's a new set of blocks called structure blocks that allow the player to save and load different created structures in game. Sort of like MC Edit, it offers a way for you and your friends to share builds with only a file. The firework rocket recipe now produces three rockets rather than only one. Another new block, the magma block, can be found in the nether generating four veins per chunk between coordinates Y27 and Y36. All mobs can now shoot while on a boat. 1.10 adds a few new mobs, one of them being the polar bear. Adults and children spawn randomly as passive mobs in ice plains, ice mountains, and ice plain spikes. Huge fossils now generate 15 to 24 blocks underground in deserts and swampland. Each chunk has a 1 to 64 chance of generating a fossil. Composed of bone blocks and some coal ore, they've been arranged to resemble the skulls and spines of giant extinct creatures. Maybe dinosaurs, who knows? A new auto jump toggle has been added, which automatically makes the player jump when running towards a one block tall obstacle. Bone blocks have been added, which are crafted by filling a 3x3 square with bone meal in a crafting table. Skeletons holding a tipped arrow in their offhand will now shoot that type of arrow. A new type of skeleton has been added called stray. 80% of skeletons spawned above ground in ice biomes will become strays. Witches will drink a potion of fire resistance if they don't already have the effect, and the most recent damage taken within the past two seconds was fire damage. Village structures are no longer restricted by biome boundaries. A new NVT tag called Fall Flying has been added that allows mobs to use Elytra when they fall. A new falling dust particle has been added that appears underneath gravity affected blocks. You'll really notice this in desert caves when little sand particles fall from the ceiling. Caves no longer turn adjacent sand blocks in the ceiling into sandstone when generating. A new block called Red Nether Brick can be crafted by placing a 2x2 checkerboard of 2 nether bricks and 2 nether warts in a crafting table. Slash TP can now teleport the player to a Y coordinate in the range of negative 4096 to 4096, increased from negative 512 to 512. The endstone bricks recipe now gives four blocks instead of one. A new mob by the name of Husk has been added to desert biomes. 80% of zombies spawned above ground in the desert biomes will become this Husk mob. Wolves will no longer despawn. New gold mine mineshafts now generate in mesa biomes. There's a 1 in 12 chance that a mushroom can spawn extra huge. There is a nether wart block now that is crafted in a 3x3 square with nether warts. Dispensers can now equip shields to entities. Anyways guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If I missed anything, just leave a comment down below of what I missed and leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy and would like to see some more videos kind of like this. Let me know if you would also like to see some more updates as Minecraft releases these updates. Uh, I really like these videos and they're super fun to make because honestly they help me understand the update better and hopefully the same goes for you guys. But other than that, I will talk to y'all later and peace out guys.